Hi there, as a 276 here, doing a quick tutorial video on how to use the uh, UAVs. I've had a, uh, a few questions on uh, how to basically use UAVs. A lot of people seem to be having trouble uh, connecting to them. They uh, say so they open up the uh, UAV terminal and uh, get nothing. So I'm just uh, I've looked into this a bit. So I'm just going to take you through how to, well, what sort of some of the uh, rules and conditions uh, you need to meet to be able to jump into a and use a UAV regardless of your soldier class. So uh, in front of me here, I've got a UAV operator on the right and myself in Zeus. So I'm playing with myself uh, as just a normal old rifleman. I'll um, I have to jump in and out of the editor here to show you um, some of the tips and tricks and and so you can uh, better understand uh, how we're going to be doing it so first of all let's uh, go into that so uh, first up I just want to uh, just let you know that uh, custom missions uh, where someone's made the mission or uh, modifications uh, may change what I say here slightly, so just keep in mind if you're uh, running on a custom mission or a, a custom map or some some mission that's uh, heavily scripted, uh, or you're running mods that, uh, especially if they're mods which uh, place units uh, like MCC or Virtual Arsenal or uh, anything like that, which uh, can affect how uh, this is done if. They do affect it, uh, let the mod developers know so they can uh, correct it. So first rule is to that you need to place a UAV, a drone or UGV with a crew. Now uh, you can see this is uh, a faction that's the uh, Falcon here is got no uh, crew associated with it. So if you're in an edit, if you're, if you're a mission maker, make sure you uh, remember this and uh, to see this little tick box here uh, a lot of people will untick it so they can uh, place uh, cars in that without a driver in it so you got a driver you want to untick that and it comes without a driver so uh, especially if you're you're building missions for for your groups uh, you generally want to put vehicles in without drivers so uh, all your soldiers can uh, jump in and drive them but with UAVs, you just got to remember uh, that you need to place them with a crew. So that's uh, ticked, MQ-12. And there you go. So you get uh, two crew in there. Um, the AI crew, they won't control the aircraft unless you tell them to. Uh, I, I could tell them in the editor to go here and do that, yada, yada, yada. Um, but until that or if a UAV operator comes in uh, they'll just sit there uh, so that's the first rule you need to put them with AI crew you can get around this I'll go through how to uh, get around that in a, a bit later uh, but if you're making missions make sure you place your UAVs uh, UGVs or drones with a crew and this is why I say like a MCC and that sort of stuff I'm, I'm not sure how they work I am running complete vanilla here I've got no mods. I haven't uh, looked at mods yet, and I can do if you really want me to. Uh, so uh, you just got to make sure that they're placed with crew. And if you're a mod maker and uh, you place uh, your uh, units down without crew, uh, you may need to uh, look at changing how that's done for UAVs and drones. All right. So the next thing I want to go into is that the uh, UAV terminals are a faction based so you need to pick up the UAV terminal which is for your faction and uh, any crew which are in that UAV are synced to that faction of the uh, NATO the terminal here so so this is uh, blue four so it's NATO it'll be associated with the, the NATO UAV terminal unless I will go through later um, how to change that so if, uh, for this character I'll go in and pick up the AAF terminal here first and show you that uh, I won't be able to uh, get onto that UAV or use that UAV at all. 
Right, so here, uh, AAF uh, UAV terminal here, as you can see in the top left. I'll pick that up. As you can see, I got the AAF UAV terminal, and I get an absolute zero option to open the UAV terminal because I am uh, NATO here. So I'll just uh, put that on the ground. Come over here to the NATO UAV terminal. So the UAV terminal NATO. Scroll down, then you got open UAV terminal. So, uh, if I look, zoom in real close, I've got two targets, I've got one, uh, sorry not targets, one UAV over here, another one over here. Uh, as you can see there's only two here, so that'll give you a distance, 115 meters obviously to that far one, 15 meters to that closer one. But, there's two here. That's my other one over there, there's two here. One of them, the one that doesn't have the crew, I can't access because it has no AI crew. So, again, I'm a normal rifleman. I just picked up a UAV terminal for NATO faction and it uh, I can connect on, I don't have to be a UAV operator class to be able to access that. Again, scripts and custom missions may may affect that, so uh, if that's the case, talk to the mission makers. So I'll also go into how to um, sh show you that being a, so I've changed myself to an AAF soldier here and an AAF terminal down there, uh, you NATO terminal is still over there uh, but just showing you that uh, when I pick up the AAF terminal it uh, is usable by my faction so I've just picked up AAF terminal AAF UAV terminal and I get open UAV terminal and again I get, oh I get nothing because these are two blue 4 AI controlled uh, drones so I've absolutely no chance of controlling those uh, just through that menu all right, now I'm going to go into how to get control of a UAV that's uh, either got no AI in it, as uh, this one is over here, or its AI is under a different faction. Now, for this to work, the only way I found out to work is uh, you need to be a UAV operator to be able to uh, perform the following action. Uh, simply, up to the UAV and scroll down, you'll find a hack UAV scroll menu option. What you need to do is hack the UAV. Now if I go to my map here, uh, you'll see that UAV is now under my control. Open UAV console. Uh, that UAV is now, now mine. So show it does work on uh, Enemy faction UAVs, again I'll just go hack UAV Wait till I give myself some medicine to hack a UAV Go back down to my UAV terminal And now have both those UAVs under my control Alright now if uh, once you've taken control of a UAV or you've already got a UAV under your command You've hacked one, uh, whatever uh, to make it do what you want uh, on a semi-automated basis is uh, to basically open your UAV terminal uh, that's I'm going to select the closest one to me so 16 meters you see a little green box uh, shelf around it uh, you can select autonomous and allow light so if you're doing uh, stealthy stuff turn off the lights autonomous uh, lets it do what you want it to do uh, if you want to Take control directly, uh, you just have to click on here, you can take control of the gunner I'll Go first person And control the, uh, the gunner seat, you can change change the laser marker so you can use uh, laser guided bombs with that uh, You got the scalpel Follows my Boom Follows wherever I'm pointing regardless of uh, Is the designator on his own or not? You got the tower. Yes. Uh, you got your DARS, DARS again, yeah. Uh, direct shoot forward only. That's how you take control of the turret itself. Uh, obviously, flying would be a bit different. Uh, and then to get out of that, release UAV controls. Take control of the driver itself. So you can. Wind her up, bring her down, all that sort of stuff. Uh, let's 
release UAV controls for now. If you want it to go do something for you, say you got an uh, enemy in this crater here, you want it to check it out, uh, shift left click, uh, puts a waypoint there, you see it immediately start taking off and heading to that location. Uh, before it gets there, you want to tell what type of what you want to do, do a loiter at a range of 300 meters, uh, behavior, never fire, and altitude, give it a modest with a low profile attitude. So this will, now yeah, as you can see, it will now fly to the area. Uh, the type of commands move is just a move command to that position. Destroy if there's any enemy enemy or vehicles, uh, if it's infantry or vehicles in that area, it will uh, destroy, it'll basically go, go for them. Uh, seek and destroy or search a local area uh, for any enemy. Hold, it basically goes to that location and stops. Sentry, it goes there and looks for enemy. Uh, guard, if any enemy, enemy come into its uh, area of ops, it'll shoot them. Support, it'll support any local troops. Cycle, if uh, you have multiple waypoint, it'll cycle between those two waypoints. So you set one as a move, the other one as a cycle, so then it'll cycle back to the move marker. Uh, loiter, will do exactly like it is now. It's more for the winged UAVs where they can't really hover like this one can so it'll just literally hover around, loiter around the lip of the, the volcano there and land will tell it to land uh, here we can control the gunner uh, zoom in and the loiter functions good if you want it to uh, semi-reasonable um, location Obviously you wouldn't be this close if there's enemy there. Uh, allows you to get pretty good targets on. So if I want to uh, bring it back into land, you do that, give it a land command. Altitude, keep it nice and low. That is land. I hope you all learned a bit something or a bit of something here. Uh, just a few quick points to, to go over. You don't need to be a UAV operator to be able to get a UAV terminal, but you do need a UAV terminal that is the same faction as you, and the UAVs need to be have an AI crew, which is obviously of your faction, unless you want to get uh, close access to the UAV and hack them. Uh, custom missions and scripts and mods can change uh, this behavior that I'm going through today, so uh, keep that in mind if you are using any of those. Uh, if you're in Zeus and you're placing uh, units, make sure they have an AI crew. Don't, uh, don't place them without uh, crew. Same with when you're in the uh, editor. And just note that Virtual Arsenal or MCC may also affect this. And yep, this is for stock armor, so I'm not using any mods for this one. Uh, if it doesn't operate like this, uh, talk to the um, mission makers or the mod developers, uh, see if it's uh, a problem there. Uh, otherwise, if uh, they can't help you out, uh, let me know. I can see what I can find out myself. Um, have a give, give it a bit of go. Like I said, I'm not using mods in here, so it's um, this is what I found just using stock armor. And uh, just just so I don't get many more questions about the MQ-12 Falcon here, it is only if you have Apex. So, uh, you will be able to see it if if it's been placed on the map by someone else or someone else is using it uh, that does have apex you will see it but you won't be able to control it and if it's uh, you won't be able to place it in the editor or even if you can you won't be able to use it i've got apex so i'm not sure exactly what its behavior is like if you don't have apex so yeah i hope uh, you like this video hope uh, you all learned a bit out of this and uh stay flying